Let's make SC grenadine. Hi, I'm Jer. Welcome to Kill Devil, where we focus on rum and cocktails. Today we are going to make SC grenadine. Do you know what SC stands for? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're turning to the channel, welcome back. In either case, I hope you enjoy this recipe. The SC in grenadine stands for Smuggler's Cove. So this is Smuggler Co Smuggler's Cove's version of grenadine. And I got it from their book, Smuggler's Cove, by Martin Kate with Rebecca Kate. Note that I do already have a recipe for grenadine here on the channel. Um, the reason I'm doing this one as well is because when I'm making a cocktail from a book and they give a recipe for the ingredients, I try to make their ingredients so the cocktail turns out the way that they intend it to. Note that there are some differences between this recipe and the recipe I already have on the channel. Link will be down below so you can check that one out. Number one, this is a one-to-one -one grenadine. So that means it's one part juice and one part sugar versus the other recipe is two to one, two parts sugar and one part juice. Number two, the other recipe has some floral in it. It's got some uh, rose water, it has some orange flower water. This one doesn't have any of that. It's just pomegranate and sugar. A note on the pomegranate juice. Smuggler's Cove does specify Palm Wonderful 100% uh, pomegranate juice. If you want to make the Smuggler's Cove the SC of grenadine, then you're gonna to wanna to use this pomegranate juice. However, if you just want to make a grenadine and use this recipe and you have another pomegranate granite juice, feel free to substitute. I'm not going to police your choices. Normally when I'm making a syrup, I, I usually think of slow and low, so a low temperature for a longer amount of time. Smuggler's Cove does this grenadine slightly different, and I'll explain that when we get to the stovetop. But first, I'm going to put one cup of the pomegranate, uh, pomegranate juice, the Palm Wonderful, because it is wonderful, one cup into my saucepan. And this is a 16 ounce bottle, so I could do two cups if I want, but I'm not going to because Smuggler's Clo Coves is not policing me. Now, see you at the stovetop. Now that we're at the stovetop, I'm going to turn this on to a high heat. And I'm going to bring the pomegranate juice to a boil. I'll be with you in just a moment. Okay, now that this is boiling, I'm going to add my sugar. Whew. And I'm going to stir until the sugar dissolves with a wooden spoon. They do specify wooden spoon. This should take about a minute. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. Now that the sugar is dissolved, I'm going to remove it from the heat and I'm going to let it cool to room temperature. I'll be back with you in a bit. Now that the grenadine is room temperature, there's only one thing left to do. Bottle, label, refrigerate. I think that's it. So we've got my little quadra bottles. You don't have to use quadra bottles. You can use whatever bottles that you like. And then label. I don't use fancy labels. I use masking tape. So we have SC grenadine. One to one, just in case. And today is 20 September 24. There you have it. SC Grenadine. Enjoy. Question of the day. Do you make homemade grenadine? And if so, what recipe do you use? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know. Note that there are ways to support the channel if you're so inclined. I have t-shirts. You can have a t-shirt if you want a t-shirt. Contact me through any of the social media links down below. We'll make sure you get a t-shirt. And while you're at those social media links, you might as well follow me on those. Finally, if you made it this far, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a subscribe, turn on notifications, etc., etc., and we'll see you next time. Cheers.